Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for our first virtual training session for the Big Payback 2022. I'm Nicole Rose, and I'm the GivingMatters.com Manager at the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee. Today's training will focus on a general 101 overview of what the Big Payback is, how you can navigate the website, and why it's a great way for your organization to raise some much needed dollars. Before we get started, I wanted to share with you that I was once on the other side of this huge community giving day, as I used to work for a local nonprofit that utilized the Big Payback to raise funds to meet our mission. If you're an organization preparing your campaign for the very first time, do know that you don't have to try everything at once. We've developed a lot of tools over the last eight years, and it's up to you and your organization's team to test out the ones that work best for you. I think you'll find as you build your campaign that there are a lot of learning opportunities and team building that goes into building out an organization's campaign for this 24 hour giving day that you can use not only now, but in the future for other events. You'll then be able to build upon the tools that work for you this year and future campaigns. If for any reason you're feeling like you need to ask questions or get guidance, we are available by email at the big payback at cfmt.org. To get started, we are going to visit the site we are hosting the big payback on at thebigpayback.org. Thebigpayback.org is its own website. Everything you'll need in order to participate is on that website. It's super straightforward. Everything you need is right here. When you get to the site, you'll be greeted by a countdown clock. That is counting down the days until May 4th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is when the Big Payback 2022 will officially begin. We are currently 82 days away from the time the Big Payback will officially start. The homepage of the website gives a basic overview of the Big Payback. If you're not super familiar with the Big Payback, you'll definitely wanna give that an overview. At the top of the bigpayback.org, you'll see this menu bar. This is how you'll navigate the website. If you have been a participant or donor of the Big Payback before, you may notice that the menu bar has changed a little. We decided to make it easier for a user to identify what sections of the website are most helpful to them so that each user can get the right information they are looking for right away. If you'd like to look, dig a little deeper to get information about this event or any of our sister initiatives at the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee, you can do that by checking out the about section here. I won't re be reviewing that part of the site today, but there are a lot of great details about this particular event, as well as the organization that hosts the Big Payback, the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee, as well as their initiatives, givingmatters.com, and now playing nashville.com. While we are always happy to answer your questions by email, and we'll do so as soon as we can, your questions may be answered here more quickly, especially in this about the big payback section. Before we dig in too much further to the site, I have some fun statistics to share with you. First, the big payback is for the 40 counties of Middle Tennessee. That's our service area. Any 501c3 nonprofit, school, or religious institution is welcome to participate as long as you have a location within those 40 counties. Since 2014, which was the first year of the Big Payback, nonprofits just like yours have come together to raise over $25 million, and that's from a total of 180,583 donations. That is some incredible generosity within the 40 county region to support the incredible work that your organizations are doing in just eight 24 hour periods. 2021 was an incredible year for the big payback. We raised $4.2 million for a record number of 1,017 nonprofit organizations, and that came from 32,941 gifts. Another one of my favorite statistics that I like to share 
is that there were 11,096 donors who reported that they gave to an organization that they had never given to before. Yes, I said that right. 11,096 donors made a first time gift during the 24 hours of the big payback. So by participating in the big payback, you're potentially reaching a brand new donor base that has not supported you before. Donors come to the big payback because they've either seen the general branding for the 24 hour giving day and they wanna know what it's all about or maybe an organization that they've supported year after year has asked them to donate. So they get to the website for one of those reasons or a variety of other reasons and then they decide, maybe I'll shop around. They're gonna to think to themselves, who else can I support? And then they're gonna search for their community or an issue that they're particularly passionate about. And if you have a compelling page on the bigpayback.org, then they could end up resulting in a donation for your organization as well. And we're gonna talk about that in a little bit more detail a little bit later, but I think that that's an incredibly compelling number and one of my favorite statistics to share year after year. If you hover over the four donors tab, you'll be able to click on the find a nonprofit section. This nonprofit search page is where you'll be able to search for all organizations that are participating in the big payback. Right now, we have 416 organizations that have already been approved to participate. I don't know about you, but that's a very exciting number to me. You'll see this layout is similar to what you might experience if you're online shopping. It's like being on Amazon or um, your favorite local boutiques website. It's a familiar layout where you see all the different options that you have and can search for an organization by its name or by a keyword or, or a city. I'll search for the community foundation. And here it pulls up by the organization's name. And this will be your donation page during the big payback during those 24 hours. You'll see a donate button on this page here. And there will also be one here. And this one will drag down with you as you scroll down the page. You'll also notice that there is a unique URL here. Every page organization has its unique URL. So in this case, the bigpayback.org backslash CFMT, that means that you can send that unique URL for your organization directly to your donors. So then it's really easy one click to get to the site to make their donation. They don't even have to search for you. We try to keep the pages for donations really simple. We want you to be able to tell your story and make people excited about giving to you without overwhelming them with information. They're not going to spend the whole 24 hours on the website. They're there spending a few minutes to give donations to a few organizations they care about, hopefully starting with yours. And then they're going to move on with their day. So you have an overview statement here where you can include your mission statement. And maybe a little information about your campaign can be included there as well. You, um, you can share what you're hoping to raise funds to support. You can add multimedia. This will be in the form of videos or pictures. And these will help to share your story. You can add an unlimited number of multimedia to your page, but we wouldn't recommend going overboard. A few photos and a couple of videos is really all that is necessary. We find that when you do more than that, it could potentially overwhelm the donor. And while we know your organization is wonderful, no one is going to spend all day reviewing those photos and videos. We think carefully selected maybe three to five images or videos is probably the sweet spot. So think strategically about what it is that you wanna share during those 24 hours. What's your story? What's the goal? And do what you can to get that message across. We do have links here to your organization's email, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and your website. So if someone does wanna click through and learn more, they are able to do that. If you scroll down the page, you can find a link to your website here as well, and maybe a YouTube page if you have one. 
I did want to point out that there's this button here called start a fundraiser and we are going to dive into that in a little more depth later, but the fundraisers are a really neat tool. Those are peer to peer fundraising campaign pages similar to what you might see on Facebook or if you've ever participated in a charitable run or walk. You can use these as an opportunity to engage with your board members, your volunteers, your staff, or anyone that would like to share why your organization is important to them, why they're involved, maybe how they've benefited from the services that you provide. It allows them to share that personal story, and that's a big key, personal story. Set a fundraising goal and share that with their networks. It's a really great tool for participating in the big payback and potentially reaching new donors that you've never reached before. So that's your donation page. I do want to hop back to the main search page real quick just to show you the variety of ways that an organization could find your organization during the big payback. Like I showed you before, you can type the name of the organization here. I chose the Community Foundation for that example because we're the organization that puts on the big payback. But there are right now 416 organizations that you could search for. You can also search by keyword. So maybe a donor is really interested in supporting the environment or an organization that provides mental health services. And then they're able to find organizations that are meeting that need. Like I mentioned before, there are 40 counties that are eligible in, to participate in the big payback. So maybe you want to type in Murfreesboro or Stewart County or Lebanon, and then you can find nonprofits that are specifically serving your community or your town. And you have the ability to do that by typing it in the search engine or the county dropdown also here. You can also search by cat category if you don't really want to know where to start um, using these activity filter, all categories, activities filters right here. So when you're thinking about setting up your page on the bigpayback.org, think about who is going to be coming to the Big Payback website during the event. What will they be searching for to find your organization? Think about it from their perspective when you're building your page to help drive traffic to your donation page. Last year, as I said, we had 1,017 participants. So that's a lot of nonprofits that are going to be asking for donations during that 24 hours. So it's important to think about how you can stand out and how you can encourage someone to click that donate button and give to your organization. One more thing I'll share before we move on to the create a campaign section is that I mentioned the big payback is similar to online shopping. That's also how the checkout will be for donors giving during the 24 hours. They will be able to add as many donations as they like with a minimum of a $10 gift to their shopping cart and check out with one transaction at the end. So they're not having to check out 15 times if they want to give to 15 organizations. It's all really user friendly, really simple, and a great way for donors to show love to all the nonprofits that they like to support here in Middle Tennessee. The next page we're going to check out is our create a fundraiser section. Here we have an in depth guide if you want to encourage your supporters to create a peer to peer fundraising campaign page. We have some instructions here on how to create those. I do want to note that our amazing platform provider, Neon One, is currently making some tweaks to how those run to make them even more user friendly. And when those changes happen, we will definitely be posting those additions here in this guide. This section here under four donors, follow the conversation, is pulling social media posts from Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Anytime that someone uses the hashtag big payback, they're being shown on this feed as well. And we encourage you, especially if social media is not your strength or it's something that's intimidating to you and you don't know where to begin to take a look at this page. There are some really wonderful examples that might help to spawn ideas of your own. We find the most effective posts are the ones that tell a story ones that make folks want to click through and donate to you. 
You don't want to spend 24 hours just sharing your link over and over and over again. If you do that, you risk the potential that your followers will unsubscribe from your feed. So we aren't going to do that. You are going to create engaging content. You'll be potentially telling stories about your team, your clients, and the important work that you're doing. And this page is a great way to get some inspiration. Now I'm gonna click on four donors, donor facts. This year, we've also broken out our facts section to target one for donors and another for nonprofits. But this may be a helpful page to review or share if your donors have questions about the donation process. A few of the most important highlights here is that the Big Payback is a program of the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee. And all donations made through this event on debit or credit cards will be listed as the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee on their receipt. All tax receiving for each donation happens in real time and is processed by and from the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee. While we ask that nonprofits receiving donations do not tax receipt for these donations, it is highly encouraged that organizations reach out to their don donors after the event and engage further with thank yous and consistent feedback about the great work your organization continues to do because of their support. The minimum gift is $10 and only gifts given through bigpayback.org, excuse me, through thebigpayback.org during the 24 hour period of the Big Payback will be eligible for additional prizes. This is an entirely virtual event, so check and cash donations will not be accepted. There is an early giving period that will open up one week prior to the event for donors that may not be able to give on the 24 hours of the event, but these gifts will not be eligible for hourly prizes. But don't you worry, we will talk more about prizes later on in this training. Before I jump into the nonprofits tab, the next page I wanna check out is the leaderboards. The leaderboard is where all the fun happens during the big payback. You'll see here now that we have the 2021 leaderboard listed here. It's still live, so you can go and check out which organizations raised the most money and who had the highest unique donor counts. Those are the kind of kind of the two data points that we really track during the big payback and we're awarding prizes during the 24 hours the entire time. So there is that little bit of friendly competition. It's a great way for you to strategize as a participant and to drive donors to your page. And it's a fun way for the community to rally behind the big payback and each other as well. We award prizes based on three different organization types. So if you're a small or new organization, then you're not going to be competing against the nonprofit with a $10 million budget that's been around for decades. We divide you into small, medium, and large organizations, and you can see those budget size breakdowns here. And there are a lot of prizes that are awarded during the big payback. Our sponsorship team works really hard to solicit funds to support these prize incentives. And that can be seen in the almost $2 million in prizes we have been excited to award over the last eight years. We even have a prize leaderboard. So if you'd like to start thinking about how you can strategize during the big payback, you can see here the list of previous prize winners and see who won those prizes in 2021. There are prizes about most dollars raised or most unique donors. There are really fun timed prizes like right at sunset, who, which is whoever gives that very minute, second included, can win some extra funds for the organization that the donor donated to. When I helped create a campaign for this event, our team decided to target the most unique donors for the first 30 minutes. We set up a list of uh, individuals who pledged to donate during that time period, as well as assigned a group of folks to text and call to remind our donors about that 15 minutes prior with a link to directly to our site. Once that prize was list was confirmed, we also targeted a few social media messages around specifically targeting those prizes. And when we won, we definitely had a few more social media messages celebrating that win. So as you may guess, this is a great page for us to check out early. 
And we, and maybe you could start talking about that with your teams, talk about what you think you'd like to strategize. And it's also really fun to watch during the 24 hours of the big payback because it's updated in real time. You're going to see that dollar amount raised. You're going to see the prizes awarded and you're gonna see it all happening right here. Now back to this nonprofits tab. I mentioned prizes. This page here is worth keeping an eye on because when the prize list for 2022 is officially announced, it will live here. That usually comes out sometime in mid-April for those who are really, really wanting to know exactly when. The Community Foundation doesn't make any money off of your participation. We fundraise in order to make us help us make the big payback a reality. And so we try to wait as long as we possibly can to secure as many sponsorship dollars as we can to make that prize pool as robust as possible. One other thing to note about prizes is that every year we have a prize patrol. In 2020, 2021, and even this year, that will be held uh, virtually and it will be live. The prize patrol invites some of the organizations that have won prizes to celebrate and congratulate them for winning those prizes. And you never know who might stop by to the prize patrol. We've had friend of the Community Foundation, Tennessee Titan, Eddie George, and our sweet friend, Winona Ryder, stop by and make some prize visits with us. And it was a lot of fun. You never know what is going to happen during the big payback. The next page I wanna highlight is this events page. A lot of nonprofits that participate in the big payback, they choose to have an event as part of their campaign. It's a great way to engage your donor base and encourage them to make a donation. People have done art classes, yoga in the park, singer songwriter night, any kind of traditional fundraiser that your organization might do, you could adapt it to be a fundraiser for the big payback. But we really want you to keep two things in mind. One, you'll want to make sure that you're driving those donations to your donation page on the bigpayback.org. Things like text to give or Facebook fundraisers are fantastic. Checks are fantastic. Any donation that is coming into your coming to your organization is fantastic. But if you want to count it towards the big payback and towards those prizes, you'll want to make sure that you're using that direct link to your donation page in order to process these gifts. The second thing, another thing that might be helpful to point out because of the times we're living in with the pandemic, we absolutely encourage you to be safe with any event you're choosing to have. Make sure you're following the COVID-19 protocols that are recommended on May 4th and 5th when the big payback is taking place. If you're having an event, virtual or otherwise, and you'd like to spend, spread the word, we definitely, definitely recommend you listing it on nowplayingnashville.com. It's a free marketing resource. You can click the link here in order to submit an event. But if you have any questions about the process, you can email our friends at nowplayingnashville.com at support at nowplayingnashville.com. This page will also have a list of our trainings that will be offered in 2022. There will likely be a few that build off previous trainings, including one about peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers or engaging your donors, as well as how to create fun and engaging content you may have even found this training there. There will also be some regionally based trainings, which are a great way for your specific community members to come together and talk about what the big payback might look like in your region. It can also be a place for you to ask questions in a really conversational format. We definitely don't want it to be us talking at you for an hour. We wanna make sure that we are reaching folks where they are and make the big payback as successful as possible for your organization. So keep checking back here on the events page for any trainings that may sound interesting to you and sign up for what you might think may be helpful. We are now going to go to the toolkit section. Our communications team has really worked really hard to put together this for you all every year. It's a really fantastic 
toolkit section to help you make the most of participating in the big payback. We have so many resource sources here, including training guides on how to motivate your board, how to come up with a strategy for the big payback. We have logos and other branding items that you may need. We have canned messaging for social media, email blasts, press reliefs. Anything that you would need in order to be successful can be found here in the toolkit section. So please take advantage of the information here. We also down here have uh, one of our 30 second commercial spots, but there are many more to choose from, from on CFMT's YouTube page. This one here is featuring our friends, Eddie George, Erica Wollum Nichols, and Kristen and Charlie Warsham. We offer these to all participants of the Big Payback so you can use these to share the news about your participation in the event. We also like to share information that can help you with strategies and campaign ideas. And one friend of the Community Foundation and the, and the Big Payback, Jenny Hargrove, she goes by Nonprofit Jenny. She has a fantastic podcast called The Nonprofit Jenny Show. This is a free way to learn about nonprofit fundraising and marketing. So if you're a podcast listener, definitely subscribe to her podcast. There are several episodes linked here that are specifically about the big payback. I would definitely give them a listen. You will learn so much. Go back up to this and we're gonna look at the training videos. We have a training video library. Once we have a training, it will be recorded and posted here. We also have previous trainings here as well. So if you're new to the Big Payback or have a team member that's new to the Big Payback or you're trying to dive into an aspect of the Big Payback that you haven't really done before, this is definitely a page worth checking out. I'm going down to my favorite of, the, of our videos here. There's a two-part series with our friend Stephanie Simkin of Stone and Steel Creative. After we provided these trainings last year, which focused on how to write effective content and build visually consistent campaign graphics with simple to use tools, we noticed that our nonprofit participants did an even better job marketing on their campaigns last year. And as it says in the description, no previous design or marketing experience is required. There's also some great videos about using Instagram with my wonderful colleague, Morgan Yingling, as well as some videos from our in-person kickoff event. These share some really great stories from the participating organizations themselves, many without huge teams or a staff member who can focus just on marketing for their events. And I find these stories to be really inspiring to new individuals who participate in this event and may also have to wear a lot of other hats while meeting the needs of their communities. Before I jump to the administrative side of our website, I did lastly want to point out that we have a nonprofit fact section. This section will share the deadlines to register, deadlines to ask for a nonprofit profile on givingmatters.com, overview the credit card and software processing, and likely most importantly to you, share that all donations processed during the event will be distributed in bulk to nonprofits via EFT no later than June 30th. No later. <laughs> A few other important things to note is that all donations are 100% tax deductible. And this means that you cannot offer anything of value to your supporters in order to solicit donations. As said before in the about section, you can always reach out to us if you have any questions, but this would be my number one go-to spot if you're looking for answers and you're wanting them quickly. Now to the administrative portal. We're actually going to go here because I want you to see how we get here. Okay. So anytime you're wanting to access your donor information or you want to customize your page for the big payback, you'll choose login, nonprofit. 
you'll be taken to this screen here. If your organization is brand new to the Community Foundation, that means you don't have a givingmatters.com profile or you've never participated in the big payback. I do want to point out that you'll want to click on this button here on the login screen. You'll then fill out this form and it will just tell us a little bit about your organization and that will help us decipher if you are in fact eligible to participate. And then someone will, from our team will reach out to you to walk you through the rest of the process. If you're a returning organization to the Big Payback or you've already have a givingmatters.com profile, you'll just wanna click log in and enter your email address that's associated with your account here and your password. You'll be brought to a dashboard that looks just like this, um, givingmatters.com, which is another initiative of the Community Foundation and is one of the requirements to participate in the Big Payback, shares an administrative portal with the Big Payback. So everything you need is right here together. One sign on, one place to come to and update everything that you need. Find all the information that you need, is, it's right here. We like to keep it as simple as possible. So if you have not yet registered for the Big Payback, here you will see a button that says register for the Big Payback. I actually think I can show you that on this one. See right here. You'll just click down that link to register and that's all you have to do. You don't have to fill out a new registration form if you already exist in the database or if you already have a givingmatters.com profile. You'll know that you're registered for the big payback if you log in and that button isn't an option for you. That means either you or someone on your team has already hit the button. You'll also have access to this big payback dashboard. You'll also have access to this big payback dashboard. Here we have a section that is pointing out all of the important dates that you need to know. This will fill out more as we get closer to the March 31st deadline to register for the big payback. Down here, we have areas where you can enter fundraising goals for the event itself, or if you have matching funds, you can fill those out here. I'm going to click this update goals button. You'll look at here and enter in the information about your matching funds. There is a lot of data here that if you're setting goals or just wanting to have information showing on your donation page on the bigpayback.org, those are great tools to utilize. If this is your first time and that seems intimidating and not something that your organization wants to do, that's fine too. It's not required, but it is available. In order to update the information on your page, you'll actually wanna go back up here and click on the My CFMT Profile. This is one of those pages that links together with your givingmatters.com profile and your the Big Payback profile. If you click on the Multimedia tab here, this is where you can update things like your logo or you can add photos and other videos. To do that, you'll just click the add multimedia entry here and then choose either picture or YouTube video and either upload or put the URL. It's pretty user-friendly, but if you ever need any assistance, don't hes just hesitate to reach out. And also look at the statements and search section. And you want to pay special close attention to the mission statement. This is where you'll update what's showing in the overview section of your page. So the mission statement is the overview section on your the bigpayback.org page. So that's the one where you're going to want to edit um, and talk about your campaign. If you click on my donations, this is probably the most asked about section on the site after the big payback. So this is really important to remember that my donations will get you all of your donor information that you've been looking for. And that is updated in real time. You'll be able to see donor history for both the big payback and giving matters. And so this page 
we'll be able to give you contact information and you can export that information into an Excel if you'd like. We also have some really great filters here. So you'll definitely wanna make sure that you've got the dates right that you're looking for. One other thing to note, you can set your donation levels on your page here. This is gonna show on your checkout page. It's a neat feature, especially if you have something that you can equate to a specific dollar amount in terms of what it would do for you as an organization. So say if you wanted to put $500 here and you have donor levels, as you recognize your donors with a certain title if they give a certain amount, you have the ability to set that here and then you can call it whatever you want with this label here and then just hit save. I think this is a great tool because it could help you increase the donation amount that you receive. Say you have, maybe you're an organization that supports little pups. You could say um, $20 will buy a bag of dog food. That might be helpful because maybe I, as a donor, was intending to give $15, but I see that if I give $20, I can buy a bag of dog food for the animals that I am really passionate about. So I might up my donation to $20. I did wanna share that you also have the ability to control who has access to your account for the big payback and giving matters by clicking on the my users section. You can add new users here. You can manage any of their settings. You do have the ability to do that. And then we also have this resource center here. This section just has articles on fundraising best practices, blog posts from our software provider, Neon One. And that might be a section worth checking out if you are looking for additional resources. This wraps up our The Big Payback 101 training session, but if you have any questions at all as your organization is registering for The Big Payback or is creating your campaign, whatever it is you need, you can reach out to us at thebigpayback at cfmt.org. I appreciate your time today and your service to our wonderful Middle Tennessee community. We look forward to seeing you and how your organization thrives starting at 6 p.m. on May 4th and ending at 6 p.m. on May 5th. May the fourth be with you.